I wanted to talk about the upcoming election in the United States where I live. And I've been studying uh, various news reports and analyses and I've watched videos about different opinions, especially the opinions of religious people. Um, lately, I was listening to an Orthodox rabbi and I didn't agree with his opinion, but it made me think even deeper into the, the decision that we have to make. And he was saying that he believes in voting for the current president because he's pro-Israel. But I, I associate Israel with religion and adherence to the Bible. And right now, um, there's very few religious people in Israel. They're, they're mostly secular people. And I did visit there in 2003. And some of the things they're doing, like making Jerusalem the capital, it isn't exactly biblical. I mean, it might be the spiritual capital, but I mean, it's crowded enough there to... There's so many problems there. There's, there's violence. Um, there's nervousness. Um, there's, there's soldiers all over the place with guns. They're standing in front of grocery stores and they check your bags when you walk in. So... I didn't think Jerusalem needs any more to deal with, like being the capital. And all the prophecies in the Bible uh, talk about, you know, spiritual preeminence uh, in the future, not, not political. Anyway, um, there are religious Christians that would like to vote for their current president because he claims to be pro-life. My idea about pro-life is that's fine, but let's help the life of that new child after he's born. For instance, there's so many absent fathers who are not helping provide for the child and who just disappear. Um, what else? There are uh, other Jews uh, that I've listened to besides this Orthodox rabbi. And um, they do not like the current president and don't plan to vote for him because of, you know, things that have happened, especially with immigration. So, as I was saying, I started thinking very deeply about it because of something else the uh, Orthodox rabbi said. He was saying that the priority is the Almighty's master plan for the, for the whole world. And he thought that the current president is more in tune with the master plan because of his, his fondness and his attention to the land of Israel. And he also mentioned that the Democratic candidate doesn't seem to be cognitively doing well. So this started me thinking that let's say the current candidate is not in his best form, but he has a tremendous amount of people behind him and people that will be helping him, people will be on his staff. So isn't that what true democracy is? many people making decisions about a country, not just one person like a king, because our current president um, seems to be more like, like a king because um, he wants people to agree with him. And his staff, uh, they don't stay with him long if they don't agree with him. So that's not really a democracy. You know, everyone's supposed to vote and have a say. So, even though this Orthodox rabbi wants the current president, 
it doesn't seem like a, a democratic uh, thing to do to have one person with the main power. Now, it doesn't have to be that way, but it is that way with the current president. So even though the Democratic candidate, I'll repeat this, seems to be cognitively uh, impaired by most people think that, what does that matter if, he's, if he has so much staff? He's not going to be firing people that don't agree with him. He's going to listen to them. That's what he does. He's a very social person. And he cares about basic right and wrong. So these are just my thoughts. Um, I also am interested in the Almighty's Master Plan. And I try to understand that by studying scripture. So just think about it. Um, keep studying.